This is about history of athleisure trend. Athleisure wear is multi-purpose clothing, while active wear is clothing that is specifically designed for use in sports, exercise, and outdoor adventures, but can also be fashionable. Athleisure clothing is more versatile and can be worn in your daily activities, even if you never worked out. Although not long ago, people would never eat in restaurants wearing their gym clothes. Can you imagine? Athleisure apparel is now a popular style, a choice that complements busy lifestyles, keeps us comfortable and emphasizes the importance of physical fitness as part of our daily routine. The question is, when did the trend start? Stay with us as we will share the timeline of the fashion trend. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to talk about when the athleisure trend started and the origin of the trend. Before that, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Many people say the modern athleisure movement started in the 1970s, but athleisure clothing actually started back in late 18th century. The first shoe with rubber bottoms were made for athletes in 1892, and the rubber provided better traction on tennis courts, earning them a nickname, tennis shoe. At nearly the same time, sports events become very popular at universities in the United States and men will wear their athletic clothes to class before after practice. Polo shirts were first designed in the 1920s for tennis players as a breathable alternative to the long sleeve design that were popular at the time and they were later adopted by polo players. Polo shirts aren't commonly associated with athletic wear anymore but that's exactly how they got their starts. Across the 20th century, the new clothing was developed to meet needs of athletes, such as shorts, which were originally designed for use in the gym, and of course, running shoes. However, it wasn't until the 1970s, the modern athleisure clothing really took off, and more people began to focus on their physical fitness. Apparel companies saw the value in the designing exercise clothing in various differences of fabric that offer moisture wicking properties, improved breathability and odor wicking technology, increased investment and research into athletic apparel, improved the quality of the clothing, and more people began to buy it. The term athleisure was first used in the issue of nation's business in March 1979 to describe clothing and shoes designed for people who wanted to look athletic. Athleisure evolved from sportswear, which was clothing designed for specific sport to one size fit all approach to athletic apparel that is now synonymous with athleisure clothing. Think forward, move forward in investment today matter. If you find this topic interesting, help us by sharing this video with your friends. This will motivate us to make more interesting videos. You can also download and register our GIC app, which contains many investment news, articles, and education video. You can find the link in the description box below. Now, why is athleisure so popular? The goal of athleisure items has always been create sporty clothing that is more comfortable and suitable for exercise. But the movement gained traction in the 1970s. With a renewed emphasis of material and function, people were more likely to wear athleisure clothing outside of workouts as it become more comfortable. Today, that innovation is one of the primary reasons for the popularity of athleisure because every company is consistently working to improve their materials and technology. You can now find athleisure apparel made from fabric as diverse as bamboo, spandex, and marino wool. Athleisure clothing is also comfortable to wear because it does not wrinkle, has anti odor property, and is breathable and long-lasting, unlike many other clothing trends. Athleisure is also compatible with different types of weather conditions and is frequently designed specifically for work out in extreme heat or cold. That means it's ideal for wearing when you are running around in summer and don't want to sweat through your clothes or when you're heading out in the middle of winter and want to be sure you are protected from the elements. The clothing can be dressed up by layering a leather jacket or a pair of heels and transitioning into more formal setting, making it highly versatile and allowing you to look stylish while also feeling comfortable. Well, this is not strange when people nowadays go out wearing sweatpants, hoodies, sweatshirts, track pants, high-rise leggings, and baseball cap, as these athleisure items are popular today. Despite all the hype from people, 
Some even question how long this trend will last. At this point, given how far it has spread around the world and how popular it has become, ad leisure is becoming more popular in a variety of settings, which some employers embracing the trend in the workplace, particularly as people begin to incorporate athletic clothing into clothing. And that is something more fashion forward than casual. Ad leisure is largest product segment among young people worldwide. In some places, it accounts for over 65% of the clothing purchased by people in their teens and 20s. The value of worldwide market for at leisure is estimated to be 348.95 billion. It is predicted to increase to over 517.48 billion in year 2022 and beyond. Recognizing the popularity of this contemporary design, even brands that previously did not make active wear are now starting to build their own spot lines. Without a doubt, Athletic trends will linger longer than we imagine. If you think to get athletic clothing or active wear for you, you should check this website out. Gear up. There is one outlet in Singapore, and in Malaysia soon be launching another outlet at Pavilion Bukit Jalil. Well, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for next video. This is Sino from MCM.